Are you currently going through some situation right now? And you're asking the Lord to do something about it. And it seems as though God is quiet. It seems as though God has shut himself up from you. Dear child of God, do not give up. Dear child of God, I want you to know for sure that even in that situation, God will show himself strong and mighty. You see, Paul found himself in a situation and then he besought the Lord. He sought the face of the Lord and it seemed as though the Lord did not respond to him. He said, for this thing, I besought the Lord thrice that it might depart from me. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 8. And after he had sought the Lord, after he had seek the face of the Lord so deeply for these things to happen, for a change to happen. And the change did not happen. All God will say to him was, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. He says, Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. Dear child of God, everything is working together for your good. Dear child of God, you may not understand it right now, but God knows what he is working out. He knows what he is doing. Yes, you may feel as though you are getting a silent treatment from God. You may feel as though God has shut himself from you. But I want you to know, that God is working something out. And by the time you see the things he wants to accomplish, you will be glad that he took you through that process. At the time that Job was going through the things he was going through, he was in pains. He was crying night and day. He was in harsh power. He knew that there was something wrong, but God was not responding. There was no change. He will even go to God and say, Will a man live again? All the days of my appointed time, I will wait till my change comes. He says, if a man dies, will he live again? Will they ever live again? He said, no. All the days of my life on the face of the earth, I will wait for my change to come. And dear child of God, it really came. It happened. And when it came, he knew why God was silent. He knew why God kept him at that point. Dear child of God, you may not understand it right now, but everything is working together for your good. Yes, it may be difficult. It may be very difficult right now. It may seem as though the God that you serve is not even compassionate. It may look as though God has failed you, but know for sure that God cannot fail. He doesn't fail and it doesn't disappoint. So when you have gone to God and made some request, and then you got the silent treatment from him, relax dear child of God and know for sure that God knows what he is doing. And by the time he perfect what he is doing, you would indeed open your mouth and say, yes, I take pleasure in this. That was what Paul would end up saying when he knew everything that God was planning out. At the first instance, he did not enjoy it. At the first instance, he did not enjoy all the things he was experiencing, but he knew that God was working something out and his statement would be, therefore, I take pleasure. Dear child of God, be rest assured that God knows everything you are going through and he knows how to settle you. He knows what to do at the end of the day. That when you see it, you would have a reason to rejoice. At the time that Joseph was thrown in the pit, it was not excellent. It was not nice. He was not happy that these things were coming from his brothers. At the time he was sold, he was sold by his own brothers. He was not happy. He felt that his world had crashed. He felt that everything was coming down upon him. But dear child of God, that same Joseph, when God have settled him, when God turned everything around, when God brought him to that place that he had dreamt about, when God brought to him everything he had promised him, he will look at his brothers 
he will look at those people that did evil to him. He will look at those people that caused the pain he was in when they were trying to apologize. And then he will say to them, you meant it for evil, but God meant it for good. All things are working together for good. Dear child of God, this is what I want you to know. But at that very instant that Joseph was in the prison, it was not something excellent. It was not something nice. At the time he had all the false accusations and the allegations leveled upon him, it was not nice. He felt that God had left him, but God had to assure him that I'm with you. Even while he was in prison, God will bring that word of assurance to him that he was with him all through the time. And that was why he was finding favor. Dear child of God, in those things you are experiencing, things are still working because God is with you. And when you see the perfection of what God is doing, you would have a reason to rejoice. So you may be in your wilderness experience right now. I want you to know that God is working something out. And when everything is perfected, oh my God, you would have a reason to rejoice. You see in Isaiah 43 verse 2, the word of God says, When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned. Neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. Dear child of God, he's telling you that when you are going through those problems, those challenges, those heaviness, he said, I will be with you. He said, I will be there to help you. I will be there to sustain you. God did that for Joseph. Whilst he was in prison, the scripture recorded in Genesis 39 that God was with him, that God was right there with him. I want you to know that God is right there with you. And when everything is overpassed, when the troubles, the magnitude of the pains, and all the challenges you were in are gone, you would indeed come to say, I take pleasure in God. And I thank you for taking me through the process. Yes, Job would come back to return and give thanks to God. But when he was going through all the things he was going through, he never enjoyed it. And nobody wants to go through that. I mean, you can simply say, why do you have to take me through all of this to bless me? But God knows what he's doing. And dear child of God, this is what I want you to know. God knows what he is doing. He did not really need to take Job through all of those processes. He did not need to allow Paul go through all of those infirmities. He did not need to allow Joseph stay in the prison. He did not need to allow David always run from one cave to the other. But he knows what he is doing. And that was why the scripture made mention that everything is working together for your good to them that love God and to them that are called to his purpose, to his perfect will. Dear child of God, there is something you may not understand, but when the perfection of it comes, when you begin to see the clarity of things, you will then have a reason to rejoice. You would have a reason to be glad. God had to take his people, the people of Israel, through the long route because he knew what he was doing. He wanted to preserve them. He wanted to see to it that they truly get to their blessing. They would have been distracted if they had gone through some path. They would have seen some places that would have felt as though they were in their promised land and then they would have settled in the place that God was not planning for them to settle. This is why sometimes you go through the things you are going through. God is taking you through the process so when you get to that point that he has destined for you, you will indeed know that this is what God was planning and this is how he had accomplished it. Dear child of God, there was a point in the life of Joseph that he felt very comfortable in the house of Potiphar. Potiphar had made him the head over his household. Potiphar was only concerned about the food that he was eating and then he felt Maybe this was the place that God have said I should come and rule. This was the place that God have probably said I would be the head. But dear child of God, he could have been there and that would have ended his life. That could have ended the story and that would have cut short that great destiny that he was to fulfill. He could have allowed the wife of Potiphar and then he would be an exalted servant in that home. 
and never to get to that throne that God had destined for him. But God had to take him through that process and brought him to that height that he had destined for him. Dear child of God, you will get to your enthronement. You will get to where God wants to take you to. So it's okay for you to ask the Lord to rise up and redeem you and help you and take the pains away from you and take these problems away from you. It is okay for you to ask God to take these afflictions away from you. But if his response to you is my grace is sufficient for you, then know for sure that it's taking you through a process. And when you see the result of it, you would have a reason to be glad. You would have a reason to rejoice. And dear child of God, you will come to that point that you would have a reason to rejoice and be glad as well. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It shall be well with you. You shall see the blessings of the Lord overflow with you and with your family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It is well with you. God bless you and shalom.